Afternoon, class. Today I'd like to talk to you about the cyclical nature of history. Cyclical, you know, like a like a cycle, like like a bicycle. You know, like a like a circle, something that goes around. Anyway, history is always doomed to repeat itself. Evidence of that fact is rampant throughout the annals of written history, and it all hinges on one fatal flaw, and that flaw is the human race will always make the same mistakes. Now while in this modern era America may not crumble and be wiped off the face of the earth only to be a legend millennia later, at some point in the future we're no longer going to be a world power. Ooh, ooh, I have a question. I have a question. Uh, you, yes. Um, uh, why? It's a good question. Here's the answer. It's because mankind doesn't allow something to flourish forever. Greed, corruption, power competition, all of this contributes to any nation's downfall, and America isn't an exception. All one has to do is to look back into history to see if this holds true. While it's true that only the victor writes the history, the hard fact is that many nations and empires were wiped off the face of this earth with hardly anything left behind. The Mayans, once known as the pinnacle of culture the world over, now something we only read in history books. The British Empire collapsed in decades due to the cost of policing all their territories. And the cost of World War II was just the icing on the cake. Hitler's reign of power was relatively short-lived compared to other empires, but his downfall was his greed and his drive to control everything. Crazy f The Ottoman Empire, the Roman Empire, the Persians, Babylonians, the Assyrians, Napoleon, Alexander the Great, all gone. They all rose and fell due to the same base human flaws of greed and corruption and so on. Now you can call me non-patriotic if you want, but I only see myself as being a pragmatist. America may not disappear like all these other nations for one reason or another, but the fact remains that nothing lasts forever. While I don't think it would be as extreme as the nation being split into four sections going at each other like rabid dogs, it's not out of the realm of possibility that America will sit back, whether by choice or by necessity, and let somebody else take over for a while. And that's probably a scary thought to some people. I don't really see why, I mean, maybe we should all brush up on our history.